Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and we had another uh, sample come in this week that's got some typical symptoms. I thought I might show it to you just to give you a, a little look, and we'll look at it a little bit uh, closer on the microscope. You've seen something like this before, but if you just take a sample and cut it in half and then wash the sample off, you can start to see some galls uh, in these, in some irregular shaped roots. You see these bumpy little roots that you see in here? Those are galls or root galls caused by meloidogyne, uh, the root dot nematode. And they're, uh, they're causing a problem at this site uh, in sort of patchy looking areas and after aeration to where the plants that had the damaged roots or the stressed roots didn't survive as well and they got a little bit of uh, uh, expression of the damage in the foliage. Let's take a look a little bit more closely at this sample. So this is an image under a dissecting microscope and we need to pick out a root to look a little bit more closely on and one of the problems we have in selecting roots in this case there's a little bit of organic matter uh, attached to the roots you want to kind of clean them off a little bit to start with and then grab the sample and transfer it over to uh, a microscope slide that we'll be able to look more closely on a compound scope and here we still need to uh, clean up the sample whenever you're working with nematodes uh, to try to get uh, a rough idea of what you're looking at uh, the cleaner you can make the sample, the better it will be for you later on uh, as you're looking at the uh, nematodes a little bit more closely. And this this root looks pretty good. Now all we have to do is uh, uh, add a little bit of water and put a drop on here. And then we'll start picking around in this root uh, to carefully uh, tease out any female nematodes. In the case of root knot, they're a little bit easier to work with than most of the other nematodes. You can get uh, the live nematodes out just by simply uh, uh, adjusting how you pick the root apart. And here we're just going to carefully uh, tear the root in an area where there's a gall and you can't always see the nematode ahead of time, they're in there, but uh, you have to carefully rip it apart. So here we go with two pairs of fine forceps and just sort of push in with one and then push in with the other and then pull apart and hopefully we'll dislodge a nematode. And there's one in the background uh, right there. It's going to move around a little bit as we're uh, working with the root, but we'll see it a little bit more closely uh, up toward the top there. I'm pointing to it. We'll zoom in uh, a little bit more so you can see it. It's a uh, not quite a mature uh, female. It doesn't look like she has any eggs yet, uh, but that's what we are we were looking for to confirm the uh, galls were caused by a, a nematode and, and most likely a root knot nematode. And the other thing we want to make sure with this nematode is that we uh, see a style it. It's not that big a deal, but we always like to just double check. So we'll move this over to a compound microscope. And here's what we see uh, on low power with a compound microscope. And then when we zoom in to uh, over 400x, we can see that at the head, there's a stylet that is typical for meloidogyne, uh, the root knot nematode. 